Brian Ayers. I'm from Rugged Fitness here in Connecticut. And I just want to talk a little bit today um, from a motivational side of things, uh, a little analogy that I like to put together for people when they're going into making big changes in their life in these areas of exercise and nutrition. This is something I've touched on in a lot of my different podcasts and articles I've written in the past. Um, but the other day I was talking with someone and, and a great analogy kind of clicked um, using our boxing bags here um, as a way to kind of illustrate our point. Um, so when people start out with their, their new programs, um, the, the real idea of making change can be a little bit intimidating to people. Um, but if you don't change the foundational beliefs that you have around exercise and nutrition and your real basic operating procedures in your head, it's going to become really difficult to achieve and sustain that long-term success. Um, so with the boxing bags, I like to use the analogy. Um, if this boxing bag here represents where your normal activities are right now, Okay? And this one way down here is really going to illustrate your, your activities that you need to be doing for long-term success. Now, that could be a specific type of eating. That could be a specific exercise volume. Um, that could just be your mindset around what exercise and nutrition is and, and what role does it play in your life. Now, you can see there's a big gap, right, from, from where a lot of people start to where a lot of people need to end up in order to achieve that long-term success. So, what people usually do is they go full go into some kind of a program that's way outside of what their normal comfort zone is. All right? So let's say this is your normal activities right here. Right? And this is tethered. Right? It's anchored pretty solidly in, in your mindset. All right? If I go over here on this side and I've got to get to over there, right? if all I do is go in and, and say I'm going to do some crazy 90 day uh, cleanse. Or, uh, or some kind of a, a nutrition program that focuses on just giving me a meal plan that I gotta follow now, right? Essentially, I'm not changing my, my thought process around food, right? I still wanna eat and drink and do all these crazy things. That's still my normal behavior, like thought process. But instead, I'm gonna push in that direction. And I'm gonna push real hard, right? So now I'm working out like crazy. I'm eating this really super strict diet, right, that I'm miserable doing, right, because I'm still tethered back there to where I want to be and where I think I want to be. But I'm going to push, and I'm going to push, and I'm going to hold this out here. Now, the farther outside of my comfort zone I'm pushing, the heavier this bag is getting, and the harder it is for me to hold this bag up there. And now it's getting real tiresome, so people make it through a few weeks but they're struggling, and they're pushing, and they're really giving it their all, but they're still stuck, tethered back there to where they think they should be or they want to be, right? So I finally give up, and I say, you know what? I just can't do this anymore, right? When I let go, is this bag going to stop where I started? No. Guess where it's going? It's going to go way back in the wrong direction, right? So you get people that continuously try to change everything in their life all at once, and they push real hard outside their comfort zone, and then when they can't maintain it, it falls back and it knocks them back even worse than they may have started, right? So instead of just seeing these obstacles and, and leaving your brain attached back here, what we want to do with our programming is start to teach you how to not just change what you're eating in a plan, but to change how you decide to eat things and what your thought process around it is and what your feelings and emotions attached to food are. So that that way, we can take you and move you from here to the next level, right? So after a while, you make small progressive changes, and it moves you closer. Now, if I'm pushing this one outside of its comfort level, I'm a little closer, right? But I'm not pushing too hard so that there's not the big push back. And then eventually, we move around these obstacles and get you down to where you started, right? So if I make it to here, changing my behaviors, if I fall off, this bag is never going to make it back to where I started, right? So even if I fall off, if I've taken the time to make those progressions, I'm going to be in a better place when I fall off, right? Then I can get back on and start making some progress and start doing some work again. Then if I fall off, I'm here instead of all the way back here. Now I'm going to work a little harder and now this gets more comfortable. I'm not pushing outside. This becomes my new comfort zone. So now it's easier for me to start to work my way over to here, okay? So use the bags again as a, as a way to try to illustrate that idea of, 
of really making it a lifestyle change as opposed to just making it a quick fix type of change. So, thanks for taking the time to listen. Uh, again, Rugged Fitness, and as always, live rugged.